Okay, so a few of my friends asked me about HyperSchemp. It's a tool that's available on the, on the IBM intranet, and I've used it for a couple of years off and on, and I want to explain how to use it. First, we're going to download it. You would go to the WP page and search for ISVS, which is the Software Download Service. And in there you'll see a menu of a whole bunch of things you can download, of which HyperSnap is one of them. Um, to download the product, you would want to download the executable and also probably the installation and registration information and the quick reference documents. Um, but I've already done that, so I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip that step. Uh, so when you start HyperSnap, you want to change uh, your customization. And you go to the action bar, and you say, uh, go to the action bar, it says capture, and you go to the hotkeys, scroll down. And, and the way I use it uh, is that on this print screen, key handling, I set that to capture region. And what that means is that it's not the full screen, it's just a small segment of the panel, of the, of the window screen, and you get to pick uh, the, the size by, by dragging your mouse, and I'll show that in a second. Other customization that you want to do would be the capture settings. In the capture tab, I turned off the restore this window to the front because it's annoying. I usually I just copy from what I'm doing and paste it into Lotus Notes, or sometimes I paste it into PowerPoint. But I don't normally want this HyperSnap window to come up. Uh, let me just, I need to hunt around. Okay, there was a, um, you know. Oh yeah. Uh, so I also want to check uh, check on where it says copy each capture to clipboard, and that's in the copy and print tab. And then in the view and edit tab, I uh, I there's a there's a push button for replace the image in the current window. Because if you don't use that, then every time you cut something, it winds up in this hyper snap window, and then it's you wind up with a whole bunch of things on top of each other and, and it's messy. So, uh, so I, I do a replace instead of a, uh, creating a new window. And then normally I just minimize it and then uh, it, and then it's uh, the hypersnaps running in the background. Uh, because of my customization, when I press the, on the keyboard, when you press the print screen key, it, that's when the capture uh, gets done, and I'm going to press it right now, and you'll see uh, a crosshair appear in the on the screen, and then what you do is you you drag it to uh, the area that, that you want to capture, and then I'm sorry, you, you move the cursor there, and then hold it down, and hold the the mouse button down, and then release it on the opposite diagonal, and then you. And the, it's still not copied yet, and you, you click the mouse one more time, and then uh, and that's when this, this region capture is done. And then typically what I do is I go to I go to Lotus Notes, and uh, that image looks very similar to what I just captured, but but uh, uh, so what I do I do a paste in Lotus Notes, which is a shift insert shift insert. And that's the image that I, I just cop that I just copied. Uh, so this example is in Lotus Notes. It could be in PowerPoint or some other uh, utility that handles graphics. 